Sup, hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Let's talk about a Japanese product that's been receiving a lot of traction lately for good reason, but it's been getting very popular on Instagram and content creators. And when you see the product, I'm sure you'll see why. Let's talk about the actual Pokemon Old Maid deck that was released in 2019. This deck was released in Japan only and for the sole intention of people to actually play a traditional game of Old Maid. If you're unfamiliar, sit the fuck down. I'll tell you how to play that game. Typically in a traditional deck, you're trying to get pairs of cards, discard as many of them as you can and not be stuck with the old maid which is typically a lone queen in the deck that you cannot make a pair of and if you get stuck with it you lose you're stuck with the old maid boo the old ball and chain back home the old battle axe stuck with you right you don't want to end up with that and that's the ultimate name of the game of old maid pokemon released this they have a 36 card deck that you can pick up it was released in japan for approximately six bucks i think it was like 700 800 yen you can typically pick them up now on ebay for relatively cheap they're going to be a little bit of an import but you can get them for anywhere from 17 to 20 bucks typically which i think is a pretty fair deal for what you're getting this whole set was actually illustrated by koichi uyama who is very well known for illustrating very certain pokemon cards using the pokemon tcg game and he illustrated in fact one of my favorite alt arts of all fucking time the beautiful whale lord and magikarp alt art tag team man that card is beautiful i could look at that card all day god damn that is a shiny card and i love it and this guy is a legend and when you look at all the card arts and all that stuff you're gonna see it and it's just going to pull you right in. But the whole objective of it is for people to actually play the game Old Maid. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, Possum, what's the problem here? There doesn't really seem to be any issue with that. And look, I would say that too. But once again, this is the Pokemon community. This can't just be a fucking good old tale of fun and friendly times. We have to actually have some bad guys in here too. We have to have some people that are trying to ruin some shit for everybody. If you go on eBay and you're actually looking to pick up a deck, you're going to see some very reasonable prices. But you're also going to see some people overcharging for this deck, right? Definitely don't pay $50 for it. That's a little bit much. But that's not the worst of it. That's not as bad as it gets. So remember how I said there's 36 cards in this deck, right? There are people online currently, right this second, selling individual cards for $10. They have not sold. This is not in the sold tab. I'll get to that here in a second. But imagine that. There's 36 cards in the deck, and you sell each card individually for $10. Anybody with some quick math, what is that off the top of your head? Someone in the audience, tell me real quick, please. 24. 360. Oh, $360 for a fucking 8 yen deck? That is ridiculous. That is what some people online are trying to do. And look, I know most people are probably not going to do that. It's not going to go over super well, but this preys on the ignorant. This preys on people that don't know. Say someone's just browsing Gengar cards, right? They're looking at like a Japanese Gengar Sabrina's error or something like that. They're looking at something like that. And then they happen to find this card and they've never seen it before. And it actually gets bought up for, I don't know, let's say uh, $30. Let's just put out a random $30 number, a wink. And they pick it up and this starts a trend where people are going to go and now sell that card for 30 bucks because somebody bought it because they had no idea what it was, right? This does affect the Pokemon community. Look, if this stuff didn't affect anybody else, I'd shut the fuck up and stick a thumb up my ass. I'd just be like, okay, whatever. This doesn't affect. It does. And we had the whole year of 2021 to look at to see where people doing dumb shit and being greedy affects the Pokemon community as a whole. We have a whole year to look at stuff. Oh, but Opossum, a booster pack of cards only costs $4, and I could pull a $200 Charizard from that. See, you're just being a big old hater. That card's just more valuable because more people want it. Very good comment that I know somebody is going to leave some fucking idiotic box breaker. I know you're going to leave that comment in there, so I'm going to defuse it right now. See, a booster pack is not guaranteed to have Charizard. However, every single one of these decks, no matter how many of them you open, is going to have that Gengar card in it. You need the Gengar to play the card. It is designated the Queen. It's the most important card, almost. It's the only way that you can lose. Oh, don't believe me that you get 36 cards in this whole deck? Look, come here. Follow me. I'll show you what's in this deck set. Since some of you will not believe me, let's actually open this brand new set of old made cards so I can show you all 36 cards exist and there is no reason to buy from anyone else at a higher price. Let's pop this open first of all. It's going to start working. It's super nice. Please excuse my fingers. I work for a living outside. I, have, I do physical manual labor. I apologize. It's clean, I promise. You got Pico. Focus! You got Red. And then you got ditto -y. You got blurry, super blurry ditto. There he is. I don't even know who that is. Look how blurry he is. And then look at the front. That's just that's just fantastic art, though. Once again, Uyama. That, that guy knows how to draw some stuff right there. Look at that. So we got your deck. We got knockoff red. The back of every card is going to look like that. And I mean, that's just, that's just a treat to look at. Look at that. Look at this good stuff right here. Let's get it. There's always a tab right here that's supposed to make it like easier. There it is. There's a tab right there to open this up. Let's see how long it takes me to get it. Ooh, got it first try. Let's open it up. All right. 
So let's see if we can get the, the ultra super rare Gengar cards. We got we got one red. Oh, we got a Pokeball. Oh, 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 we got another Pokeball. Oh, we got Bulby Butt. We got Bulb Butt right there. We got another one. Ooh, man, lucky pack. It's Charizard's son. We got Charizard's son, everybody. We got the little Charizard Jr. There, there he is right there. We got Squirty Chan. Double Squirty Chan. We got Pidgey. Actually, I don't have anything funny to say about Pidgey. I just like Pidgey. There we go. You get two of those. We got Peek. We got Pico. We got we got the very popular Pikachu. We got Fat Chew. Look at that. Look at that little fucking head he's got going. We got Jigglypoo. Jigglypuff. Got times two. We got Gloom. Gloom is a very interesting choice for that stuff, but I do like that Gloom gets some love. I know typically it's the one that kind of gets slept on the most. We got Gloom. We got Meowth, and he's playing a Pikachu card. How meta, how very meta of him. Look at that. Pete, we got that one right there. We got Psyduck with his squiggly headaches. Squiggle, squiggle. We got Slowpoke. Slowpoke and Psyduck, that's another great tag team card. One of my favorites as well. We got Chansey. We got Egg Mama, Egg Mama right there. We got Ditto, he can be anything. Even a content creator, even a box breaker if he tries hard enough. We got Eevee, the popular one, the popular girl at school. We got Mew. Look, I, I get, look, guys, if we get a second one, you got you gotta smack the like button. You gotta smack it. If there's two Mews back here, I, I'm, going, I'm going to flip. If there's one more Mew back here, that's just incredible luck. <laughs> You only get one Gengar in the actual deck because this is supposed to be designated the Queen. This is how you lose. You do not want to get stuck with Old Maid Gengar. This is the Queen, the one that you can't have. We got, I forgot, I actually forgot about this one. It's just a blank card. <laughs> Another blank card, but it does make a pair, so you can discard it. And that's what we got. So you get one red, knock off, and then you get one Gengar. So right here, this is your one guaranteed Gengar pull. But I think we actually had a super lucky box. We had a double Mew box. So make sure you smash the like button, tell your friends, and make sure that, uh, you know, you lick everything. Have a good one. So now that you know it's actually inside the deck, you'll notice that there was only one Gengar card in there. That's actually designated the Queen. That's the Old Maid. You do not want to end up with a Gengar if you're typically playing the game. Now, I've seen this card going online for a little bit more than the rest of them. I've seen Pikachu go for a little bit more than the standard $10 as well. But Gengar, unfortunately, some poor soul, some unlucky fool, some poor fucking sap bought this card for $30. Could it have been an actual, you know, buy? Possibly. Could it have been a fake buy where someone was just selling it to themselves? Absolutely. However, this is here. It exists right there. A $30 one did sell. And if enough people get some traction, enough streamers and enough fucking big dick box breakers get behind this stuff and they start perpetuating this price and people justify it, this could affect the entirety of the box. And a deck that should remain $20, $15 for a long time is going to now be, I don't know, $360, $370 for the potential of the card you can get for it now look i don't know how much of this japan has it does say limited whenever you actually buy the product i don't know how limited i don't know how many they have they seem to be relatively cheap still but up until recently they were also very unknown they were not a very well-known product and i'm warning people do not pay for this if you want to pick up the whole deck for 20 bucks that's what i would recommend doing and there's plenty of ebay sellers that sell them for 17 to 20 if you only want one card from the deck hey Pick it up. Give the rest of the cards out to people as gifts, right? Be like, hey, yo, bro, I know you like Charmander. Here's a fucking Charmander card. Yo, you like Ditto? My boy, my homie, here's a Ditto card for you. You like Mew? I got this super cute Mew for you, drawn by Uyama, man. That dude knows how to draw a fucking card, and I know you'll like this, and they will love that gift. If you only want one card, just buy the deck, please. Just buy it for the price that it should be. And do not ruin something good for the entirety of the Pokemon community. I know I sound like a broken record fucking sometimes, but we've seen it happen. 2021, that year happened. And I will not forget that it happened. You're not going to hit me with any kind of fucking mind control potion or nothing like that. I remember that year happened. And I'm not trying to have it happen again. We have enough people doing some crazy stuff right now. I ain't trying to add to it. So I got, appreciate it. Pick up this product. It's a nice thing. Pick it up for the price that it should be. Hope you pick one up. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments below. And love you guys. Mean it. Have a great one, virgins.